All right, so today we start from question six and the question says the diagram shows a field ABCD. A straight path AC goes across the field. So the straight path AC goes across the path. And the first question says, show that AC is 1,028 meters, correct, to, to the nearest meter. All right, so we can see that they're asking us to find AC, all right, the distance AC. So AC can be found either using triangle ACB or using triangle ACD. All right, now how do you determine which triangle to use? So we're going to choose a triangle that has more information that is going to help us find what we are looking for. So in this case, we'll choose triangle A, C, D because we have an angle and two sides are given. All right, first of all, let's draw triangle A, C, D. Okay, so triangle A, C, D it looks like this. Uh, triangle A, C, D. All right, so we've been given 420, 420 meters. 830 meters and then we have 106 degrees here right 106 degrees the question is how are we going to find AC so since we've been given side angle side it means that for us to find AC the side AC we're going to use the cosine rule all right, so we're going to write a small d here, the side that is opposite to the capital D, and then here we'll write a small letter A, the side that is opposite to the capital letter A, and then here we write C, the side that is opposite to the capital letter C. So to find D, which is AC, we're going to say D squared is equal to, the given sides is A and C, so a squared plus c squared minus 2 uh, the same sides a times c then cosine theta the theta is the angle that we've been given which is 106 so we're going to have d squared is equal to a squared which is 830 so we have 830 squared plus c squared c is 420 so 420 uh, squared minus 2 times 830 times 420 all right 420 then times cos 106 degrees all right so remember they want us to show that sc is equal to 1028 meters all right so we have d squared is equal to when you get your calculator and punch everything here, you have 856,300 minus, and then when you punch everything here on the calculator, you have negative 192,174.3645. All right, at this stage, punch everything here on the calculator. And then after punching everything on the calculator, you're going to have d squared is equal to 1,057,474.3645. All right, so for us to find what d is, we are going to introduce the square root on both sides of this equation like this, even here like this. The radical symbol and the square will cancel, then you have d is equal to the square root of this number here is 1028.335726. So since they wanted us to show that SC is 1028 meters, so you can see that if we round this to the nearest meter, we are having SC. So we're going to say therefore AC is equal to 1,028 meters, all right? So we've shown part B, they are saying angle ACB is obtuse. Calculate angle ACB, all right? So angle ACB. So we know that this is now 1,028. So now they want us to calculate angle ACB. 
B. Okay? So again, I'm going to draw the triangle ACB. Okay? So we have ACB. So they want us to find angle ACB, so this angle here. And then we know that this here is 1,028 meters. And then here we've been given 62 degrees. Okay? And then AB is 1,150 meters. So they want us to calculate this here. So how are we going to calculate this? How are we going to calculate this angle? So to calculate this angle, since we've been given a full pair here, where we've been given an angle and its opposite side, and a half pair, this one here, where we've been given only a side and a missing angle, it means for us to find angle C, we are supposed to use the sine rule. So we're going to say sine C, which is the angle that we are looking for, over its opposite side. Its opposite side is AB over AB is equal to the full pair now. We are going to say sine, sine B over the opposite side, which is C. Please note that if you put the sides on top, you should maintain putting the sides on top throughout. All right. So sine C is the one that we are looking for. Then the opposite side AB is 1,150 meters is equal to sine B. The angle at B is 62. So we have sine 62 degrees over the opposite side is 1,028. Okay, 1,028 meters. All right, so at this stage we cross multiply. So we have 1,028 times sine C is equal to 1,150 times sine 62 degrees. All right. So since we are looking for sine C, we are going to divide throughout by 1,028. So we'll say divide by 1,028, divide by 1,028. All right. Then these will cancel. And then we'll remain with sine C is equal to, you punch everything on the calculator as it is. And when you punch everything on the calculator here, you are going to have 0 0.987733202. To find C, we multiply on both sides by sine inverse. And then when we multiply by sine inverse of C, we are going to remain with C, angle C, is equal to sine inverse of 0 0.987733202. And then you are going to see that angle C is going to be 81.0164. All right. Now, when you look at 81 degrees, the angle 81 is not an obtuse. An obtuse angle is an angle between 90 and uh, 180, but this one is less than uh, 90. So this is not an, an obtuse. So which means that for us to find the obtuse that they are talking about, we are going to say 180 minus uh, the angle that we found here, 81.0164. And then you find that the answer is 98.9836, which is 99 degrees. Okay? All right, so part C, they are saying part of the field, triangle ACD. Okay? Triangle ACD. Triangle ACD. Is sold for $41,500. Okay? Remember, triangle ACD looks like this. Okay? Let me just draw it here so that we have reference. Okay? 106 here. 106 degrees. Then here we have 420. And here we have 830. 
and then here we found that it is a thousand and twenty eight all right this is a c d so they are saying part of the field triangle a c d is sold for forty one thousand five hundred dollars so calculate the cost of one hectare of this part of the field give your answer correct to the nearest dollar all right so how are we going to find the cost of one hectare so we're going to find that by first finding the area of this triangle so because this is not a right angle triangle the area of a non right angle triangle is given by the formula area is equal to half uh, times the sides that are forming this angle here okay uh, times 420 times 830 times sine the sine of this angle here 106 degrees all right so when you punch everything on the calculator here and divide it by two you are going to have area as a hundred and sixty seven thousand five hundred and forty seven point nine one three six square meters okay so this is the area all right so at this stage remember they are saying one hectare is equivalent to uh, ten thousand square meters so we need to change this area into hectare so we're going to do that by using this okay so we're going to say one hectare is equal to 10,000 square meters okay what about 167,547.9136 square meters how many hectares are we going to have we put an x there then we cross multiply so we're going to have x times 10,000 square meters. We're going to have 10,000 square meters. X is equal to 1 hectare, 1 hectare times 167,547.9136 square meters. All right? To get the value of x, we are going to divide by 10,000 square meters on both sides, okay, like this. Divide by 10,000 square meters on both sides. Then this will cancel. We'll have x is equal to this square meter and this square meter will also cancel. So what will remain are just uh, units of hectares. So then we'll have this times this, uh, which is going to be 167,547.9136 hectares divided by 10,000. Okay? So when you divide this by 10,000, you have 16.75 four nine hectares but remember they are saying calculate the cost of one hectare of this part of the field okay so this is the part that was sold for forty one thousand five hundred dollars so we're going to say sixteen point seven five four nine hectares was sold for $41,500. What about one hectare? All right, is equal to X because that's what they are asking us to do. They are asking us to find the cost of one hectare. So we cross multiply. Then we'll have X times 16.7549 hectare. We'll have 16.75 four nine hectares x is equal to one hectare times forty one thousand five hundred dollars 
right to get the value of x we divide both sides by 16.7549 hectares all right so 16.7549 hectares all right so these are cancelling also the hectares are cancelling then we'll have x is equal to 1 times $41,500 is $41,500 divided by 16.7549. All right. Then you have x is equal to, when you divide this, you have 2,000. 476.9 which is approximately 2477 dollars rounded to the nearest dollar all right so it's 2477 you write it here 2477 all right thank you very much for watching if you are new to this channel please consider to subscribe hit the like button comment and share see you in the next video goodbye